Hello there, and this is once again a different type of video. Um, this is one that I wanted to show off because this actually works. This is just an autoplay battle mission, if you want to call it that. As you can see, the command is always activate the B2 droid. The B2 droid is the one that you unlock from this, the platoon area here. So if you didn't know that, that's where you need to do that and get the droid and then always activate it for this event. So let's go in. So as you can see, it's Relic 6 Dooku. Really, really happy with Relic 6 Dooku. And uh, yes, the mods are not 6 dot, so you can do this uh, with your 5 dot mods. And uh, so you don't have to copy me, I'm sure that there's other modding that you can do, probably tenacity to make sure that he doesn't get stunned and can always counter-attack. Uh, I personally found that potency and health is the best for my Dooku, um, but again, it's always going to be a little bit different for AI versus sort of like player um, battles, and uh, obviously for AI works differently with player versus computer. Um, battles and events and yeah so you've got all those really good stats there um yeah potency over a hundred percent you normally start landing an awful lot of debuffs and that is again a must and uh, the same here with Sarge Venturous again just five dot not six dot mods so these mods aren't crazy although I suppose the speeds are pretty pretty good um, so again, you probably want to be doing a load more on health. You probably don't want any on protection uh, because she doesn't recover protection. So you really want to make sure that her health is like really, really high. Um, speed is pretty decent um, for Night Sisters or for this event. And uh, potency is just below 50%. Uh, I do want to have more potency because on her basics she can stun. And uh, yeah, so you've got some really good damage and crit chance output there. And again, look, they both don't have crit damage increases for both of these. And uh, yeah, so this is Relic 6 and that is Relic 12. So they've all got their Zetas. So all we just need to do is basically just go in. So what you can do is basically you just do this. Um, I always just do that just for fun, but basically I put this on fast forward. Uh, you'll probably be wondering why on earth. Um, it's mainly because you're just waiting for Dooku to do what he needs to do. And that is basically dealing with the whole mission on his own. Um, so hopefully this will be the one time that uh, it actually doesn't cause a problem for me. Uh, there you go, so, so uh, just probably only really want to try to focus on certain characters so you might want to take control there but basically you could just leave this whilst you go and make yourself a cup of tea and get some biscuits basically so stage one is done we're on to stage two probably just want to be focusing on the healing uh, capacity for this team and again as you can see the b2 is a must because he's just tanking all those hits um, Right, there we go, one down, and then we're going to go for Clone Sergeant. So let's see whether we can actually take him out before he does any turn meter removal. Uh, yeah, we definitely did that. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, Dooku is just leading the charge. So stage two is done. I do love the backgrounds for this event. Um, I really do wish that uh, we could use these more in sort of like Grand Arena Championship. Just more variety. Uh, especially this one, because who who doesn't like seeing the Death Star? Right, come on. Let's see what we can do. Well, there you go. It's, it's not really me doing anything, but uh, 
Dooku at Relic 6 is... I don't think it's necessary, um, because I'm pretty sure that I remember doing this when I was at Gear 12. I think that's the reason why you've got that on the command for this mission, is Gear 12, basically. Um, don't attempt it with Gear 11. And again, you don't really have to attempt it with... Um, actually, you probably want to be going for Poms, actually, because he does do some pretty nasty abilities. Alright, there we go, we've done it. Um, try and keep B2 alive if we can. <laughs> Relic 6 is basically... it's. I've only got him at Relic 6 because of the Galactic uh, Legend that I'm going for, which is um, Sith Eternal Emperor. Right, let's see whether we can actually take this one out. Okay, good, good, good. And then we take this one out. And then we've still got everybody alive. Fantastic. Yeah, so Relic 6 isn't really necessary, but it blooming well helps because uh, he is basically the main hitter there. There you go. Fantastic job. And you get the 1,400,000 points that you need for that zone. And there you go. That's what it looks like. A little bit unfortunate with phase two we just missed out on getting the one star in phase two so we unfortunately we're stuck in phase three on this zone normally on phase three we are already on this point here uh the commands haven't been set um but thankfully we um, well unfortunately we didn't get through that is basically what i wanted to say that is basically what i wanted to show off is how you can clear this combat mission with Asajj and Dooku and uh, I hope that that was helpful. I'll be trying to do more of these videos where I can comment on what I use basically and what I found is easy to do in certain events, especially the ones where you can just click autoplay. Um, those ones are my favourite ones, those are the favourite missions because most of the time we don't really have time to play every single minute of this game and uh, just finding shortcuts like that is very useful so i'll be trying to do more of that in the future until next time may the force be with you always